Hello and welcome to the English virtual class. The topic for today is module 7, the truths about life, reading comprehension, vocabulary, exercises. Let's see together. Let's name the following health problems. The first one, to burn the hand. The second one, to have the measles. The third one, let's see, to have a headache. The next one, to have a backache. The fifth one, to pull a muscle. The last one here, to break an arm. Did you know them? How to name them? Let's continue. The first one here, to have a coat. The second one, to sprain the ankle. The third one, to have a fever. To graze one's knee. To have a sore throat. And the last one, to have a toothache. Let's continue. If you see the following words, what is the first idea that comes to your mind? Let's see together the words. Oil, fatal combination, bitter, razor sharp knives, cyanid, deadly secret, sleep, sliced, highly poisonous, cell defense system. Let's continue. Spy, illegal, heat processed, peep, crushed, chewed, colonist, stem, stomach upsets, export. Let's continue. Coma, potentially fatal, to be fooled by, thrive, decay, carcinogenic, raw, peckish, tumor, and lurk. They are all related to the text, poisonous foods we love to eat. Let's see together. Let's read the text together. Go into your kitchen and take a quick look around. How many things can you see that could kill you? There's a drawer of razor sharp knives, a bit of oil on the floor that you might sleep on and that fatal combination of water and electrical appliances. But take a closer look inside the kitchen cupboard because there's something at the back that's hiding a deadly secret. It's your favorite food and it's highly poisonous. Take that bag of almonds, for example. We've used almonds in countless recipes for centuries. They're used whole, chopped or sliced, as well as in the form of oil, paste or powder. There are two varieties, sweet almonds and the more popular, bitter almonds. It's this variety that contains cyanide. You might have heard of that. It's a deadly poison that enemies or spies take to kill themselves when they don't want to be captured by the enemy. The poison is part of almond self-defense system to discourage animals from eating too many of them. In some countries, it's even illegal to sell almonds. Don't worry too much though, as the ones we eat are heat processed to remove any trace of cyanide that could harm us. Cyanide is also found in foods like apples, peaches and apricots. We might say an apple a day keeps a doctor away. But when apple pips, those tiny seeds in the middle, are crushed or chewed, they produce hydrogen cyanide. There's no need to panic though, because the amounts they produce are tiny. If you accidentally swallow an apple pip or even all the pips from one apple, you won't have a problem. However, eat too many pips and you'll become seriously ill. Let's continue the text together. Once called the apple of Peru, the tomato was believed to be poisonous by the Western world until around 1820. It arrived in Europe in the 1500s. Brought back from the New World by Spanish colonists in South America as a plant and not something to eat. It's from the same family as other poisonous plants, such as deadly nightshade, and that's probably why people thought it would kill them if they ate it. In reality, though, only the stem and the leaves are poisonous, containing a chemical that can cause terrible stomach upsets. The fruit 
However, yes, it is technically a fruit, is harmless and delicious. A similar chemical called solanin can be found in another South American export, the potato. The leaves, stems and any part of the potato that is green are poisonous. The older the potato, the more solanin it contains that it only takes 200 milligrams to make us ill and not much more to kill. There have been deaths from potato poisoning as recently as in the last 50 years. The victim feels weak and confused before falling into a coma and dying. That's one good reason to only eat new potatoes and avoid potato leaf tea. Let's continue. Finally, there's a friendly looking but potentially fatal mushroom. Don't be fooled by its innocent appearance. A mushroom is a fungus an organism that thrives in dark, down places and prefers to grow on things that are decaying. The sheet egg and white bottom varieties in particular contain large amounts of carcinogenic compounds when they are raw. Tests on mice have shown that they grow more tumors when they have been fed mushrooms. There are even types of mushroom called the death cap and the destroying angel. It's probably good advice to avoid any food that has death or destroying in its name, of course. Let's continue. So the next time you feel peckish and head into the kitchen for a bite to eat, be aware of what's lurking there. The good news is that in most cases, correctly preparing these occasionally harmful foods will make them safe to eat and we can carry on enjoying apple pie, mushroom soup, tomato salad and chips safely and happily. Now let's see, let's practice together. For the following sentences decide if they are true or false. Let's see. Almonds are a common ingredient in many dishes. This is true, actually. The second one, cyanide is often used to get information from spies. Is this true or false? This is false. Almonds can protect themselves from hungry animals. Is this true or false? What do you think? This is true. Eating every peep in an apple will make you ill. This is false. Colonists started cooking tomatoes in the new world. Is this true or false? This is false. The tomato is related to deadly nightshade. Let's see if it's true or false. This is actually true. Now, choose the correct words for the following sentences. Peter grated peeled or cut some cheese and threw, poured or sprinkled it over the pasta. What do you think? Let's see. Grated, so he grated and sprinkled. The second one. Wait for the water to melt, boil or rise before you stir, mix or add the pasta. What do you think? For the water to boil and add the pasta. The third one, it's healthier to fry, grill or cook the onions in olive oil than in butter. Let's see the correct answer, to cook the onions. Let's continue with number four. Did you bake, spread or cook the cake yourself? Bake the cake. Number five, poach, beat or whisk the eggs with a fork until they start to thicken. Beat the eggs with a fork. Stew, roast or bake the chicken for three hours in a hot oven. Let's see the correct one, roast the chicken in the oven. Let's continue. Now fill in the gaps with the correct form of the words. Bite, chew, swallow or sip. The first one, he, you complete it, into the sandwich as soon as I handed it to him. Let's see the correct word. Bit, he bit into the sandwich. The second one, she, you complete it, her coffee as it was too hot to drink normally. Let's see the correct word. Sipped, she sipped her coffee. Let's continue with number three. 
Here's some water to help you if you completed the pill. Let's see the correct word. Swallow it. Number four, our teacher doesn't allow us to. You completed gym, sorry, gum in class. Let's see the correct word. Chew gum. Let's continue. Now you have to complete with raw, ripe, rotten or fresh the following sentences. Let's see them together. These vegetables are, you completed, so we'll have to throw them out. Let's see the correct and missing word. Rotten. Vegetables are rotten. Number two, Philip prefers, you completed, carrots to cooked ones. Let's see the missing word. Raw carrots. So uncooked. Let's continue. These bananas aren't, you completed, yet they're still green. Let's see the missing word. Ripe, ripe bananas. The best place, number four, the best place to pick up you completed fruit and vegetables is at the farmer's market. Let's see the missing and the correct word. Fresh fruit and vegetables. Did you guess them correctly? Now, vocabulary for true or becoming false or false statements. True, authentic or genuine. Becoming false, create the illusion, deceive, distort the truth, manipulate, misleading, sensationalize. Let's continue, false. Doctored or fake? Thank you very much for your attention.